All right, so here we are going to find the rate at which the height of the water in this pool rises if this hose that's filling the pool is pouring 20 cubic feet of water per hour into the pool. Okay, so we want to relate the, the, the height of, of this water to the, the, the volume because 20 feet cubed per hour, that's how much volume is being added. So we want to relate volume to height. So how can we do that? Well, we can just write out what volume is. Volume is going to be base times height times length. So volume is equal to base times, I'm just going to write it this way, times length. Or, or, or we could say width times length. Maybe that makes more sense. Width times length times height. And in this problem, width and length are given to us. So this is going to be equal to 6, 6 feet times 10 feet times h, which of course is just 60 h. 60 h. And this is feet times feet times feet, right? Height is measured in feet, the width is measured in feet, and, and length is measured in feet. So the units on this are going to be feet cubed, feet, feet cubed. And, and of course, volume we know is, is feet cubed. Okay, now what if we want to find the rate at which the water is rising, though? So we want to find the change in, in the volume changing the volume compared to the change in time. Right? Because we have 20 feet cubed per hour. So we're changing 20, there's, we're adding 20 feet cubed of water, in other words, that's how much is changing, per hour, per unit of time. And if we want to know the exact, uh, or, or if we want to know the rate at which the water is changing at, a, at an exact moment, well, it's not just going to be delta t over or delta V over delta T, we're actually going to have to take a derivative. So step two is we're going to take a derivative. So we're going to say the derivative with respect to time. Because we want to know the change in volume per unit of time. So dV dt, or, or d dt of V, and this will be equal to the derivative with respect to time of 60H. Okay, and now this is just going to be dv dt, the derivative of v with respect to time. So the instantaneous rate at which the volume is changing will be equal to 60 dh dt, the instantaneous rate at which the height is changing. And, and we know that that's what we have to do because the variables are different. So we have to do, we have to do a chain rule. Or, or you can almost think of it as implicit differentiation. If you remember when we did dx dt of, or sorry, d dx of, if we took the derivative of something like uh, 60y instead, remember when we did implicit differentiation, this came out to be, 60 dy dt. So go back and review that if, if you're having trouble understanding how to do this derivative. Okay, well let me let me scroll down a little bit, create a little bit more room. And now let me put let me move four over here. Just so we have more space. So step four. Well the derivative the the, the rate at which the volume is changing uh uh the rate at which the volume changing is given to us, 20 feet cubed per hour. So dv dt is just going to be 20, 20 feet cubed per hour. And this will equal 60 dh dt. And dh dt is what we're after. It's how much is the height changing per unit of time. The instantaneous rate of change of, of the height. That's really what dh dt is. So the, the rate of change of the height, that's what they asked us for. Find the rate at which the height of the water rises. So now all we have to do is, is solve for dh dt. 
So 5, we're just going to divide by 60. We're going to get 20 divided by 60 is equal to dh dt. And so that is 20 divided by 60 is 1 third. So 1 third foot per hour. And why is it not foot cubed? Because all we're talking about is the height. The height is ri rising at one third of a foot per hour. And that's it. You just, you, you th th this is equal to dh dt, which is what we were after, the rate of change of the height. And one third foot per hour, let's say you had six, six feet, let's say the pool was six feet deep, this would take 18 hours to fill the pool. That's pretty reasonable. That's about how long it takes to fill a pool. Sometimes it takes longer than that. Depends on, on the size of the pool and it depends on and it depends on how fast the water's coming out of the hose. Okay, so let's just recap because this is the first one we did. The first thing we did was we had to relate volume to height. That is going to be the most important step in all of these problems, figuring out the proper relationship between the, the two the two things you're trying to relate. In our case it was volume and height. So we figured out how volume is related to height. Then we took the derivative because we know we wanted the rate of change of the volume and the rate of change of the height. They gave us the rate of change of the volume that was given and we had to figure out the rate of change of the height. So we just took the derivative and we started simplifying. And we figured out dh dt, the rate of the change of the height, is one third foot per hour. Okay, so that's going to be the basic strategy, but you don't have to memorize it. All you have to do is is realize that you're drawing relationships because we're going to it, you won't be able to memorize. You're actually going to have to problem solve to find those relationships very often. We'll see an ex an example of that in the next video. See you then.